My name is Luca Marziale. I'm a medium format landscape photographer living in London. I'm Italian and Canadian and I started my photographic career in Switzerland. Then later I graduated and went to university in uh, New York City at the School of Visual Arts. I actually started off doing paintings and I think that's laid a foundation in a lot of my photography for today in terms of texture and composition. I fell in love with uh, analog photography and I realized I loved more and more taking my camera, being a, a little bit more at peace and solitude going out into the landscape alone. When I take pictures of landscapes, I really want to try and challenge the viewer of how they perceive a landscape. The series studies came from exploring Yellowstone National Park in America. Everything was very vast. It was a lot of mountain ranges, it was a lot of lakes, it was beautiful forests. But very quickly I realized was the most appealing to me was actually these very tiny micro landscapes. And what was interesting about these micro landscapes is first of all, the sense of color, the textures that was involved in all of these bacterias. This is a question in which I can present, how do we construct a landscape? How do we justify what a landscape is? Can something micro also be considered a landscape? These bacteria are special because they're three billion years old and they're starting to uh, have links to the origins of life. These bacteria have a special name and they're called thermophiles, which uh, means heat-loving bacteria. The Afar series came after studies. The next best place for me to explore was the Afar region of Ethiopia, which is the northernmost point of the region. Also the hottest place on Earth, once I had arrived in the location, I realized that it was way more intense than I had imagined. But what was amazing in amongst all of that desert and salt fields was eventually you came across these bright bacteria. Literally every spectrum that you could find between yellows, magentas, greens, oranges, these beautiful abstract colors. And very quickly I realized these type of environments didn't feel like they belonged to this planet, but they were. So the Cryo series is a series that documents Abraham Lake, which is situated in Alberta, Calgary. And what's fascinating about this series is that year round from the ground, methane gas is released. When the winter comes, the water in the lake freezes and the water around the bubble freeze and suspend each of the bubbles under the ice. And you get this beautiful illusion of almost these ice bubble sculptures trapped underneath. So you can actually see that visual transformation of a gas turning into a liquid and then a solid. It was the first time you could see nature in transition. When you take your camera or your canvas and you sit in front of it, you almost enter like a meditative trance. When using film photography, because I only have 12 pictures, you really have to pick your moments carefully. You really start to respect not only the traditions of photography, but you respect your time and your space, and also your subject space. After I take those photographs, I get everything developed. From there, I take the negatives to a Hasselblad Imacon scanner, I try to scan at the highest DPI. That way I have a physical scan from something that's physical into something that's digital. From there I can take those prints. The images have a very beautiful organic feeling of instead of pixels, you have grain. So if my photographs can provide almost a new perspective into parts of the world where, most, where we don't get to venture to, then I'm happy. If we can challenge the viewer into how they construct the landscape, then I'm happy. If we can convince people to look on the ground more, look at subtle details in amongst vast landscapes, then I'm happy.